Really looking forward to it. Dojo, as they say. Tai Tai. Tai Tai. Big leg. Arigato. <laughs> Good time, I shall see you later. You know, see you on the ice, as Tovel said to Dean. Sit down. Here we are in Japan, backstage, waiting to go on to do the Carl Jenkins concerto. A little bit tired, but I'm sure the adrenaline will kick in pretty soon. Um, at the moment, the band are playing Kenilworth, and I'm on directly after that. Um, I'm also going to be doing pantomime, um, a duet with my dad, Brilliante. Peter Graham's going to come out in the audience to conduct that one, so that should be that should be special. Um, Akatombo, a lovely Japanese duet, and later on in the concert during the Hot Canary. But uh, I'd best get myself warmed up. See you later. So you've done the first part. How's it all gone so far? First part went well. Kenilworth was brilliant. So the solos played well, especially the solo corner player who hadn't been playing brilliantly uh, through the week. Uh, but certainly the highlight of the first part was uh, the concerto. It was fantastic. Uh, 25 minutes from memory. We've had problems with balance. The band were a bit loud. But uh, with the audience in, which I have to say is, is surprising, it's massive. The whole holds uh, 1,200 and uh, they put extra chairs in, it's absolutely packed and so uh, it was first time for most people to hear uh, Carl Jenkins concerto and they loved it. So, uh... David's wonderful. <laughs> I think he's yeah. probably in this room, without doubt, awesome. the second best player. <laughs> <laughs> I felt that uh, Peter's direction was, was really brilliant because he added to the performance it, it, it just in a slow moment the beats were more rounded and yes, out, yes, out, right, out, right. out of articulation. Yeah, I felt the musical journey, uh, as as expressed by all three of us, was quite yeah. moving today. Yeah. Actually, yeah. some people might say it's a bit long, but I mean, no, I Be Beethoven writes long. Well, he does, he does, mm. he does look very right long pieces. Well, I've just done pantomime. It went well. <laughs> Normally, I do a cut in it. But when I arrived yesterday, I realised I wanted to do all of it, including the 5-4 section. So it's, uh, it's a bit more of a workout than, than, I'm, than I'm used to, but uh, the audience certainly liked it. Uh, I, I enjoyed playing it. Well, we're here though. I'll, um, I'll show you something a bit strange. I wouldn't this normally is, uh, show you a toilet, but this is, uh, this is quite cool. So there's a, a little keypad here, and if I press this button... Uh, That's pretty good, isn't it? And then press another button. And you can do one on a seat at a time. Or both. Whatever you do, don't press that button. Not good. Well, come back to my seat, see what's that.
Sydney to airport in Tokyo. I've um, had a real good couple of days in Senzuko with the Senzuko College of Music. Um, but Dad's been here for a bit longer. He's been conducting the brass band and the wind band. How was that? It was great. I conducted the staff wind band at the uh, Senzuko College, uh, which was really good. There were some fantastic players in that, uh, in that wind band. And uh, then we went on to conduct the uh, brass band. 150 players with up to three bands. Uh, for me, the, the, the highlight of the whole week was doing Carl Jacobs' Euphoria for Chirino, which was you know, a bit special. Uh, I enjoyed really it. Good. Yeah. yeah, it's um, probably about the. Well, I've certainly played over 30 times now, so that, this was the Japanese premiere, so it was um, was a nice nice thing to do. Other things that we did in the concert, highlight for me, was probably doing the Brilliante duets, Peter Graham's uh, composition. What made it special was that Dad got his instrument out again, um, so we got to play that together, but also Peter was conducting. Yeah, and Peter did a great job. He's been good company all week, actually. Yeah, he has. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I was particularly pleased to have had my uh, DC3 mouthpiece with me. Uh, on, the, on this trip. I'm sure it made a big difference. Um, and of course we also did the Akitombo, uh, Japanese traditional duet, which uh, was arranged by Takio Yamamoto, as a huge, uh, well he is a huge part of Japanese brass band, isn't he? Yeah he is. Uh, Takio Yamamoto, Professor Takio Yamamoto, uh, is a great and well respected throughout the brass band in the world. He's got lots of friends in the UK, certainly yeah. everybody in, uh, in, in Japan uh, knows him in the music. I mean, he's a testament to his uh, popularity. I mean, he sold that whole lot. There was uh, 1,300 people there, uh, capacity, and they, and they could have sold another 300 tickets. It was great that uh, Buffet Crampon, your sponsors, they yeah, were there. That was nice. Yeah, it was a, a, a really good concert. Um, but now we're getting ready to go on to New Zealand. I'm sure that will be fun too. Uh, in fact, I think our flight's going to be boarding pretty soon. Um, but before we do go, we'd like to say... Arigato Godaimus. To everyone at the Senzuko College of Music. Um, and uh, all the best for the future. Kampai. Thank <laughs> you.